piano in the living room. And then we used to always go on our ticket with it with the tape recorder. And then we used to have to take turns. Somebody had to play the keyboard or play the piano. Then somebody used to rap. And then you had to hurry up and switch off. And then pretty much after that, and then I got into band. Like heavily, I uh, got accepted to the Visual Performing Arts High School in St. Louis, Missouri. And then after that, just get involved with computer music because I was always into computers. So mixing computers with music is something that you know I always wanted to do. So that's how I got into you know modern day production with computer music. And that's where I always started at. Really go for it. It's always uh, other than pop block and drop it. Like later on, because when I made pop block and drop, I was like, I guess I was around. 15, 16 years old at this time. And then, like I said, I was doing computer music. So basically, the, you know, the computer music haven't caught up with, you know, like back in the day when all the cats had the tritons, the phantoms, the motifs, that the computer music didn't catch up to that. So everything we had to do was really synth based. And then back then, anybody that used uh, FL Studio or a lot of these other DAWs that you deal with uh, sound fonts. And that's what I had to use on that beat with sound fonts. But now with uh, you know modern technology with the uh, DAWs, I use contact now so I can actually infuse acoustic music with synthesized music and really have a real control of it. And I like to always mix it. You know, I like to, you know, I fill my sound spectrum up with the brass and then you know at the same time you have the synth in the same spot and then they give it a real unique sonic sound and that's why I pretty much go for it. It's not really just going in your head like, oh, I want to do this today or oh, I want to do this tomorrow. And just going in the head with just a sonic sound that you create. And it's like one of the things like David Posado say, uh, I don't know how it works. It just works. You just do it, man. Just do it. Shell back. Happy thing. That's why I got to go with George Gershwin. Uh, Aaron Copeland. Yep. Wayne Shorter. You know, it's probably surprising for me being a producer not to really say another producer name, but the thing is, it's like it just one of the parts of me because before like the whole production thing took off, it was always about yeah, music is music, but it's more acoustic music, live music, and I was a saxophone player for years. I performed at the Fox Theater in St. Louis, Missouri. I actually took college music while I was in high school in a, a program for students like me. So it's like, I always listen to like hardcore, modern, classical, that's why I like George Gershwin and Aaron Copeland. And then I always love fusion jazz, that's why I get into the Pat Metheny's, the odd meters. And that's what, I kind of like, I heard that, and then I try to I always try to put a little bit of that in every beat. And then, you know, that kind of separated from, you know, something that's cookie cutter, something that you constantly hear. It's that you just take it from there, and you try to infuse that acoustic music back into it. And bring it back a little bit. Chill. Don't really worry about the past. It's always about the future. Because the past already happened. That's already happened. I'm worried about what's next. Because if you always pass in a moment too long, something can pass you up. So I always worry about going forward. Then just worry about something. It's like even in the pop lot of dropper days or uh, when I produce with like track stars or when I work with South Memphis, like people of that level. It was like that was that moment. But you gotta be able to focus on what's next because if you just sit around in that moment, a lot of people get caught up in it. And then you know that's when you get the whole sound of somebody acting Hollywood. No, oh, he's acting too Hollywood because you're sitting in that moment for too long. Sometimes you gotta be able to move forward. So I, it's like, okay, I did this, but I got a hunger, I want more after that. So it's pretty much it's like I'm it's not that I'm proud of a moment, it's just that. I always have a hunger for more. If I do something, I need something after that. Who is your circle? I always say, is your life lonely? Because if you got your circle, like I always, you'd like to use the metaphor. If you keep your circle smaller than a jar lid, everybody inside of your circle is pretty much proactive. You know, like actors hang with actors, musicians hang with musicians. So it's like it's. It never was really lonely because a lot of my friends do music. A lot of my friends are still to this day, they are professional uh, musicians. So it never was really lonely. Now if you're talking about the women. <laughs> Shellback. You know, here and there, 
you know, some girls they act like they can take it, but sometimes when you get into that 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 mad scientist mode, when you go into that room and you lock them doors and you go in there stay in there for hours, a lot of females don't like that. You come back, you know, they complain the bird get you see me, I'm looking rough. You got me in mad scientist mode. Now you're looking crazy. You know, it's always give or take. You know, this is just one of the things. It's just give or take. Being lonely. But is you really lonely if you're into the music? The music is start. All I need is her. Right here, Shelly. Shelly don't go nowhere. Shelly, her partners, that, they don't go nowhere. I have increasing foursomes all the time. Add the interface in. We have having five sums. Put the, put the preamp in. That's what? Six tuplets or something. It's something weird. So that's all I'm going to need. Then throw the mic in. Shell back. I'm going to go with Dave Posada once again. With the whole. I don't know how it worked. But it worked. Because sometimes you do stuff in life. Or definitely if you're on a path. Definitely a path of creativity that you don't know. What's going to happen? What's next? So you always focus and you keep going. You don't you don't know what's ahead, but you know whatever you're doing is working for you. If you know, uh, let's say like starting from the bottom as a producer, you know you got to sell beats, you got to lease beats for twenty five dollars, fifty dollars here and there. You keep going, you keep going, and you don't stop. And then all you do is worry about bettering yourself. It's just like you keep going. This stuff happens. It's uh, it's the uh, what's they say. The law of attraction. The law of attraction work for you. Just like they say in The Secret and a whole bunch of other uh, books like that and metaphysics, things like that. That the law of attraction work for you. You don't know how it worked, but it worked. And then that's what I'm going with David Posado. I don't know how it worked. It worked. I just wake up, get out the bed. I get on my computer. I do my thing. I work hours a day just to keep going. Don't know what's next, but it worked. It's been working. I'm hurt. Y'all looking at me. Shell back. Piece of advice, man. Don't be cookie cutter. Turn off the radio. Find yourself and do what's really in your heart. Because a lot of times it's like, once I, uh, you know, when I'm uh, producing or if it's a session that I'm producing and then and I'm engineering that, a lot of definitely younger artists, they always coming in with the mindset of make me sound like. And then pretty much when you say make me sound like that, it's, it's already over. Because if you're thinking about a product, when you're doing music, it's a product that you have to sell. So you're thinking about cookies. If it's a, a, a chocolate chip cookie, okay, Chips Ahoy already making that. Famous Amos already making that. What are you going to do different? The difference between Chips Ahoy and Famous Amos that Famous Amos said, okay, they sell big cookies. So I'm going to sell small cookies in a bag and you can snack on them. So you always got to change. You got to be different. So ain't no reason to always worry about sound like, oh, you hear a song on the radio, you're so focused on sounding like that song, or constantly doing or repeating what somebody already did, that's no longer unique. It's no longer an uh, organic process. Just like nowadays they talk about GMOs and food. It's so GMOs supposed to be so bad because of what? Cloning. KFC. Cloning. A bird and you eating the cone bird so cloning is already bad it's already put in your head so let's put that same philosophy let's put it back into the creativity so once you worry about that just start being yourself that's why I always say turn off the radio you know like me if I'm listening to music like I said I listen to the jazz fusion jazz the modern and classical because I take aspects of that and probably put it in a modern hip-hop beat or a club beat and then someone's like, oh, that's crazy. I never heard that before. Because you're taking elements from her and moving it over there. And then that's always going to come out crazy. But once something is always the same and become cookie cutter, it's no longer inter interesting anymore. So, like I always say, turn off the radio. If you're listening to something, listen to something outside of the genre of music that you're doing. If you look constantly, if you're doing rap, why keep listening to the rap? Listen to some old school 80s pop music or listen to something else and take those elements and incorporate it to what you have and then you got something brand new. And always be unique. And ain't no reason to just constantly clone and cookie cutter and It's already 50 million people rapping like that. Find yourself, man. Shellback. What's next? 
It's, it's always, I don't worry about what's next. I just don't want it to end. And that's pretty much it is. I just keep going. Like I say, I don't know how it worked, but it worked. I don't worry about what already happened. The questions that I answered before, I don't worry about those anymore because I'm worried about what's next. And then if you're not worried about what's next, man, this ain't no reason to really get into it. It's always what's next. I'm just going, man. That's why I say at the end of the day, just go, man. Do what you go do. I know I'm going to do what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep waking up. As long as I wake up, I'm going to keep getting on this computer, get an old shell, and keep doing my thing.